All right, everybody. I'm going to wager that this is it. That this is likely to be the last episode. That's crazy. That blows my mind. That this can be it. Oh, baby. Okay. That's the last piece of that puzzle. Oh, we still need the plastic ingot from the base, but we have this. We have the enamel glass. And we have the computer chip, which is, uh... Not here. <laughs> uh, I'll figure that out when I get there. But, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the last episode of Subnautica, which is really exciting. I haven't had a series like this in the longest time actually go to full completion, which is pretty cool and pretty exciting. Okay. Let's check this water with us. Okay. I think we also now need to get a computer chip, but I think what's important is we're going to go grab some few necessary pieces that we need. We have a bunch of room to do it. We're going to be taking one last trip down to the depths of the ocean to grab what we need to grab. Like I said, I still think now we're going to need to grab a bit more gold. I don't, was our computer chip needed in that recipe? Maybe it's for the advanced wiring kit. But as I'm saying, we, uh, yeah, it does need a computer chip. And does this need a computer chip? Or it does. Okay, so we're going to need to build one more computer chip. My calculations were a bit off, but that's my fault. That's nobody else's fault. I mean, maybe we can just, uh, in the fabricator, is there maybe, maybe I can just, like, take apart the fabricator. Maybe there's computer chip in there. We could take apart a few things to see if maybe a computer chip just falls out. Hello. I think they ignore me now that I'm no longer infected. That wasn't very nice. Yeah, but now that I'm free of disease, warpers are no longer a threat to me. Which is pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. It's nice not to have to deal with those jackasses anymore. Because they were easily my least favorite enemy in the game. Apart from probably the Reaper Leviathans, those things were pretty, uh... Those things were pretty, uh, yikes. So it is nice that we don't have to worry about them anymore. All right. We're heading down to Julie Base. We're grabbing some very important things. First off, we're grabbing the Julie Beacon herself, because the Julie Beacon is going into my time capsule. There is no if, ends, or buts about it. That's how it has to be. In addition, we are going to grab our two cuttlefish because we are going to be releasing those cute little baby boys into the world because uh, I hatched them and I promised them freedom and freedom they will get. Lastly, we're going to be grabbing the Russell poster because that is definitely going inside of our uh, beacon as well. I think I'm also going to put... I don't know what else I'm going to put. I don't know how many spaces I get, and I'm kind of just planning a bit of everything. Let's hope there's a gold in here. That'd be nice. Gold, baby! That's actually pretty good. I think we need that for our computer chip. I think we do need that for our computer chip. More yellow. Um, as I was saying at the end of the last episode, another thing that makes Subnautica so good is it just plays like a dream. It runs like a dream. It plays like a dream. There is a few little, like, uh, rendering, loading in issues, but honestly, I don't give... Those don't bother me. That's, uh, I can, I can just pretend that that's okay. Like, it doesn't affect me at all. Um, however, uh, the controls, it just never has swimming in a game been as nice as Subnautica, which I think was very important because that's kind of like the whole point of Subnautica is that it controls, excuse me, well. Okay, so... It's very important we don't go too deep because that will break this. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, computer chip. What else do we need for that? Table coral and some copper wire. 
Well, we can build copper wire. And we can grab from table coral when we're upstairs. Oh, we need, oh, that's the advanced one. Oh, sorry. Yeah, just two table coral, which I don't even think I have down here. All right, we're gonna grab some batteries just to have, we need to say, goodbye to Russell, thank you for being you, let's go. And uh, we have to also figure out what picture we want. Hey guys, let's go. All right, sea legs. I wonder if I take this apart. Cute boys. Oh, there's some stuff in there. Julie, let's go. All right. Oh no, no, no. I'm talking to the robot Julie. Real Julie responded. All right. I think we're gonna go like this. F11. Screenshot saved to PDA. We're gonna grab a few of notable places that mean a lot to me. This was one of them. We're also gonna head on over now to Megan Island. And we're going to work on getting ourselves disinfected. I think that is the important next step as well. Whew. This is something else. You really feel it, don't you? You just feel the ending coming. And how we're just moving through areas that once scared the ever-loving crap out of us. With just so much ease. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's crazy what we've done here. I understand that, yeah, a lot of people have played and beaten this game. But this has been a very, very fun and exciting and memorable journey for me. And we play video games for ourselves, right? That's the whole point of playing. Wow, does he see me? Rude boy. He's coming for one more. He's like, don't go. I don't want you to leave. Sorry, buddy, you scared me once. That was the last moment of just pure terror in this game. But, um... We play video games for ourselves, right? And this has been such... I haven't had a game... The last game that had such an effect on me was probably Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight was the last, like, amazing game I played. Um, and I would classify this as one of the best games I've ever played. And that hasn't changed. I've enjoyed this game, even though it was very scary from the first one. I was just in complete awe, awe of everything that was waiting for me at every corner of the game. So it's really fun to now be at the end of the journey. 40x how many videos we're in. I'm not even sure off the top of my head how long the series is. But it's just so cool to see the end of it all. Um, I just, this was an experience, a video game experience that I don't think I'll ever, ever, ever forget. Okay, we have to go to Megan Island. We're going to be doing that on the surface because I'm a skilled little baby boy. Hmm. God dang. This would be the perfect episode, though, for a Reaper Leviathan to show up one last time and just give our, uh, give our Seamoth a little chomp. Okay. Wow. Let's go get disinfected. And then let's get back to base. We're going to release our cuttlefish out into the wild. It's, it's so exciting. I remember in one of the earliest episodes, down in where those big purple mushrooms were, I was swimming down there. And I said out loud, I can't do this. And I truly thought that this game would eventually beat me as a gamer. 
which has never happened. I've stopped playing games. Like, I think it was Ninja Gaiden 3. I thought that game was absolute garbage. So I stopped playing that pretty early. Uh, or Resident Evil, whatever the stupid... There was one Resident Evil game that was just awful. But that's not the game beating me. That's me being like, no, that game's trash. I don't want to play it anymore. Uh, I truly thought... A prawn. There's our prawn. Hanging out over here, having a good time. Uh, but I truly thought this game would end up beating me. And it hasn't. I'm gonna beat it. And that blows my mind. That blows my mind. Now, we could have come around to the other side, parked our Seamoth down there, and then taken the short way. But once again, I'm scared. This game does scare me still. And uh, especially, like, being in the world... We should save, by the way. I haven't saved in forever. Save in game. Please wait. Um, having to... Uh, swimming near, like, a mountain or, like, a landmass coming out of the water and then parking my little keister. Ooh, that would have been a bad jump. Um, there's just something about swimming near the edge of a large landmass that really gets my, uh, gets me going. So I'm happy to not do that and just take this much longer route through. Uh, no one's getting hurt here by me doing this. And if you truly hate to see it, you could obviously just skip ahead. But I'm doing this for me right now. This is the way I want to go. Down we go. Where it stops. They know. Down here. I mean, I've been here. So yeah, I could have just parked down here, but... As I've said, and I'll say it again, probably not one more time. This might be the last time we're going to say it. I'm braver, but I'm not brave. No matter what, I will always approach new areas of this game. I think we want to go this way. With a bit of fear. With a bit of fear. No? I don't know where that goes, TBH. <laughs> so let's not even use it. We're just looking for that platform that we activated that started the part of the story that I missed the first time I was even here. Hello. Oh yeah, that's the nuclear bomb that is luckily deactivated. Oh god, my arms hurt. I gotta do a workout after this video. Or some stretching at the very least. Here we go, baby! Let's deactivate this. Yep! Get me! You got me! Punched it, got mad at it. All right, well, I need to, uh... Sorry, I don't have a battery in this. I took it out. Okay, let's get out of here. It's creepy that it turns the place off, but I suppose we do... We did turn this whole thing off. All right. We're getting there. The bomb blows up. I'm throwing it against the wall. No! Ooh, hopefully the elevator works. Uh-oh! That actually does scare me. I do hope to God the elevator works. I imagine if it doesn't, the people who are watching me take the elevator down here were like, oh man, he's in for a rude awakening when he finds out his precious elevator is broken. I'm gonna scan this. Alien rifle. Cool. That sounds metal as hell. Okay, well, we're about to find out if this works. And if it doesn't, we're gonna have to take one more moment of pure bravery. Oh, good, it still works. Oh, thank Christ. 
Oh, thank Christ indeed. That was a little bit of a close call there, folks. That is for certain. Okay, well. Let's get out of here. And let's uh, head back. I think I'll see you guys at Mitchell Base. As we prepare to leave this place. And leave it all behind us. Kind of crazy for these aliens to just have one big giant plug-in that when it's pulled out just turns off their entire base. <laughs> I find that pretty funny. They're like, oh yeah, just put the, the one big plug-in down to the bottom and as long as someone's infected, not infected, they'll be fine. Can you imagine if there's an alien like right here? <gasps> there wasn't. We're good. Those aliens are old. The majority of them, are, they're good technology though. The majority of them are probably long dead. Oh good, we can do this one at a time. Yum. 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 All right. You know, coming back here for the last time has really uh, kind of actually honestly made me kind of sad. Neptune. All right. I think that's it. That's probably the last piece. If there's more, if it wasn't on the list of things that I needed to find, so... Let's see what it well, let's see what it says after we build it. Oh baby. Rocket name. We're gonna call it uh we'll call it uh Big Boy. Rocket color. Let's get that purple going. We want that like this kind of purple. Stripe one. We want it nice and yellow. Purple and yellow, they go well. Stripe two. Let's get a, a let's get a pink. And then the name, we just want that in white. Done. Big boy. Big boy. Holy hell. The last sunrise. We've done it. I'm actually sad. I'm actually sad that this is it. Okay. Let's say our goodbyes. Goodbye, James Base. Thank you. Goodbye, Mike. You were a very important guide. Megan, sorry I stuck you on a mountain the whole time. Julie, obviously you're with me. Thank you. Let's dive in. Mitchell Base, thank you for being just so wonderful. <sighs> My little Seamoth, thank you. You were very fun to drive around. Prawn, sorry I left you on the mountain. You were, you were okay. Cyclops didn't really use you. That's fine. But Seamoth, oh my god. You were so important. You're coming with me. All right. Let's let these cuttlefish go, shall we? Hello? Oh, he's so happy. Good boy. Play with fish. Oh my god, he high-fived me! You go. Oh my god. Oh! This... Oh no. That's the cutest thing I've seen. We get to do it again? 
Oh my god! Play with them. Yeah, boy. Oh, I have a little cracker. He's so happy. Holy shit. This is the cutest thing I've seen in my fucking life. Upset, but then he's like, oh, no, it's okay. I got it. All right. You go, buddy. You go. Oh, my God. Thanks, guys. You guys have a good one. See you later, planet, ocean planet. It's sad. I'm actually sad. That ship looks fucking sick, though. Holy hell, this ship's fucking boss. Big boy, we're going to the moon. Well, we're not going to the moon. We're going to go home. Okay. I think we have everything. Holy shit. I probably want to switch this on. Oh, we can bring storage. That's funny. I'm probably not going to bring anything. Hydraulic systems, let's get those going. This is so exciting, guys. Pressurizing hydraulics. Bunch of storage. Once again, I don't think we need anything. Climb up the ladder. Imagine if you didn't bring enough food or water, it's like he died on the way to his home planet. Like... Like Poochie. Oh, let's prepare a time capsule. Let's go. Let's do this. Alright. Image. I think... I want this one. Select. We want to load this with Russell, Julie, Knife, this, this, and a bottle of water. <clears throat> wow. Message. Do I have to do a title? I can't believe... Oh, excuse me. I can't believe I did it. I got off this planet in one piece. The fear, overwhelming, but thanks to everything in this, this capsule, I made it out okay. My lucky beacon, my favorite knife, <clears throat> A few toys, a bottle of water, and a poster, the cutest cat, with the best words, encouragement, I could ever have hoped for. I hope you, I hope you find an escape, no. Keep calm. You can do this. Time capsule ready. Time capsule ready. Okay, we can just look at it one more time. I can't believe I did it. I got off this planet in one piece. The fear was overwhelming, but thanks to everything in this capsule, I made it out okay. My lucky beacon, my favorite knife, a few toys, a bottle of water, and a poster with the cutest cat with the best words of encouragement I could have ever hoped for. Keep calm. You can do this. Time capsule ready. Okay. Life support system. Life support systems online. Buddha primary CPU. Primary computer systems active. Wow. Uh, communication. Okay. Is that somewhere down here? Power. 
Ah, communications array. Just missed it on our way. Communications systems array active. All systems are go for lift off. For lift off. Wow, we're doing it. Let's go. Launch rocket. Oh my god. I'm literally I literally have goosebumps. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Let's go. Let's leave this place. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh, six, amazing. 5, 4, 3, 2. Such a nice one. little detail there. Oh. We've done it. Time capsule jettisoned. Oh. We're going. Oh my god. Caution. Approaching orbital debris field. Uh oh. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Oh, baby. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. Let's go! Oh my god! I literally have tears in my eyes right now. Oh my god! What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different. But we go together. Oh my god. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh! Oh baby. What's happening? Just black. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man. That was so hype. Like these people, man, they made a game. Like they made a fucking game. Holy cow. Like I'm just floored. I'm so hyped right now. Like, I'm just, I mean, like, I haven't felt this good about a game or an experience for a very long time. Oh, my God. And what matters is I fucking did it. I beat Subnautica. I don't really know what else to say. I'm, I don't know if I'm, I'm probably, I'll probably watch the credits. We'll let the credits roll. <clears throat> we'll get back to the main screen. Oh. I'm very excited to play Below Zero. As I said, I wanted to give it a bit of time before I play it, just because I want to, uh, I want to give them a bit more time. It's still in early access. I'm gonna, I wanna, like I played this game when it was long out of um, early access, obviously. Uh, and I, I think I'd rather wait for a complete product than jump right into Below Zero next. So it will be a few months until I play Below Zero, but God, rest assured, it's coming. There's no way I'm not going to play more, more Subnautica. If they release any Subnautica-like game, I'm going to be playing it, oh God, instantly once it's in outside of early access. Because, oh... They made a fan for life. Incredible game.
incredible. Look at all these people. Production babies. Two Olivias, huh? Special thanks. Perfect world. Amen. Oh, crap. YouTube and Twitch, Twitch streamers everywhere. Hey, that's me! Holy shit. Like, I'm, like, I'm floored right now. Welcome home to all terror. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. <laughs> oh. Well, everyone who watched this series, thank you so much. Um, I had a blast playing it. Everyone who commented on the way or just is just watching without commenting, thank you for joining me on this extraordinary adventure. I can't believe we hit 30 minutes naturally for an episode. Perfect timing. Thanks for watching. If you like this series and you aren't following, consider uh, subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you are subscribed, hit that bell to get notified. But you know what? I'll be back with Subnautica Below Zero in a few months from now. Thank you so much. Have a good one. And for the last time in this Subnautica series, GG's.